Hey guys, today I was thinking we'll do some real-time Etsy product research and we will expand the scope of what we're looking for to both t-shirts and sweatshirts. And maybe, hey, if we're feeling inspired as we go, we can even look at other product types, but let's look at like high-level niches that are selling well and then maybe even do some niche research, some sub-niche research within those niches. This is Etsy focused. I know there was some interest in doing almost like a top five niches of the week for Etsy. And we'll do almost like an impromptu version of that today. So why don't we get started? For this style of video, I really like Etsy Hunt because they have such a massive database of Etsy products that we can query. So I'm gonna go to products, then I'm gonna click Etsy product database. Now to start, why don't we look at like the best selling t-shirts right now on Etsy, all right? As recent as the Etsy Hunt data is. So I'm gonna just type in shirt. Now we can get more specific. I'll show you some ways you may go about uh, adjusting your queries to get better results. Now, by the way, when we type in shirt, the first thing that comes up is this mega SVG bundle, right? So basically probably something you could find uh, something similar on Creative Fabrica, honestly, a better deal if you ask me, but you can see here like a, a bundle of t-shirt designs actually comes up first. It even sell, tells you in demand, 42 people bought this in the last 24 hours. So this is doing quite well. Uh, if you do 42 times 3.48 they made 146 dollars and this is a digital file so you got to assume that's probably profit on this best seller so that is pretty cool i mean there's money to be made selling digital but one quick thing we can do is go up here change the category to uh clothing okay and in doing this even just clicking clothing at a high level um, that's going to filter out the digital files if we're not really looking for them. So clothing and indexed on the word shirt. Uh, the second listing looks like it is a, a hoodie or not hoodie, but a sweatshirt. Uh, the next one, have the day you deserve. Okay, let's check that out. See this specific product, have the day you deserve. Sarcastic shirts, motivational skeleton shirt. So anybody looking for <laughs> some Halloween ideas, uh, note this one doing quite well. Of course, do your trademark research. I am currently just browsing the best sellers. I'm not looking at trademarks. Uh, we're doing this live. In demand, 17 people bought this in the last 24 hours. Not bad. Notice the low list price. This is something that we're seeing in common every time we do this style of video. The best sellers all seem to have a list price, meaning the price people see in search results. Like we are currently looking directly at the product listing. But if we came here from search results, we would have seen $8.80 as the price, even though when you get here and you select a, you know, okay, I want a uh, unisex short sleeve size large. Oh, it's $15.20, you know, color black. All right, remains $15.20. And then I'm probably paying five or six bucks for shipping. So when all is said and done, they're collecting quite more than uh, $8.80, .80, right? Uh, beyond that, more custom shirts, custom shirts, mama sweatshirt, offering personalization, uh, embroidered ghost dogs Halloween sweatshirt. So we've got an embroidery um, Halloween shirt here and looks pretty simple. Notice it's a pretty good primary thumbnail there uh, in that, you know, it's a sweatshirt, very obviously, and it's very much zoomed in on the embroidery. The embroidery is not huge relative to the size of the sweatshirt. So they zoom in so that we can see very clearly what it is that we are purchasing. All right, and I'm just, the reason I note that is because guys, we need to make it very obvious at a glance to our customers that we are selling what they are looking to buy and it's not gonna be for everybody. So hone in on a specific customer and like, again, like just make it clear to them that we have what they want. So what else do we have? Bride crew sweatshirts, we have August girl. So birthdays in August, okay, that makes sense. And as the month is about to turn to September, perhaps update that, make the September birthday shirt equivalent. Here we have a girl B doll. So instead of saying Barbie, they said B doll. <laughs> and they have the, obviously the Barbie fonts, but they're trying to play it a little bit safe, it would appear. So check that out. Definitely looks familiar, right? I think we've seen that before. And it looks like they are offering personalized uh, anything you want, I guess, on the shirt in the Barbie font. 15 sales in the last 24 hours. Uh, unisex, size large. Let me get black, 1866. So by the time you add shipping to this, they are probably doing quite well. They are probably making quite a bit of money. You know what I mean? Even if they're charging like four bucks for shipping, uh, that's, you know, $22.66. Could be charging five or six. They're cleaning up here. You know what I mean? And they're offering uh, not just the, you know, standard t-shirts, but V-necks, youth, toddler, and sweatshirts. So again, 
I, I'm not telling you what to do with your account, but just note that, you know, this listing is selling 192 times in the last seven days. So note that. Uh, Comfort Colors shirt that says Mama shirt. Looks like Pregnancy Reveal and it's a pocket design. Okay, people love their pocket designs. I personally do not sell too many of these because I have kind of my approach. Maybe I'm just an old dog that can't learn new tricks. I don't know. I've been doing it a certain way for so long. It's kind of my preference, but check that out. Simple enough, right? Uh, People seem to like it though. You know, 10 sales in the last 24 hours and in the last seven days, 172 sales. So they definitely had some days that sold better than others. A shirt that says 1692. They missed one. So maybe that's like a Halloween. Oh, Salem witch trial, maybe. Uh, Awesome like my daughter shirt. Goose t-shirt embroidered. By the way, another embroidery shirt doing well on the um, kind of that like greenish, tealish comfort color shirt. So note that as well. Uh, you just yeehawed your last <laughs> cowboy frog meme shirt. Is that embroidered as well? No, it's not. Okay, so another idea here for potential trend for people that are into frogs. You just yeehawed your last haul partner. Maybe it's a, a reference I don't get. Uh, hubby wifey shirts, Disney shirts, Disney family trip shirts, and more Disney shirts. So hey, at least we didn't get as many Disney shirts as we usually do. Now, one thing I was going to show you is that you can add like 2023 as a qualifier, this isn't a guarantee way of filtering out non-2023 shirts, but oftentimes it does translate into listings optimized for 2023 in some way. So perhaps maybe this is a nice way of not having to compete directly with shirts that have been live on Etsy, accruing sales and improving rank for five years. So note that one down. As we scroll down here, you can see the uh, 2023 Disney family shirts Uh, listing here. That is how they're marketing their listing, which I mean, if you ignore the fact that it's Disney, this is a nice way of getting a couple upsells, right? Because you're marketing that, hey, it's family shirts. So hopefully you're buying more than just one. 136 sales in the last seven days. Uh, Next one, Karma is a cat eras shirt. And whenever I hear eras, I'm wondering if, you know, I I don't know this to be true for sure. I'm not the expert, but uh, you know, isn't era like the Taylor Swift thing. So just saying, oh yeah, and then you've got all the Taylor Swift. It even says Taylor Swift outright right there. Um, So, I mean, I wouldn't be listing that personally. personally. Uh, Also notice it had a $7.70 list price. So again, just a really low list price to generate a lot of clicks. Etsy takes that as a signal that, hey, this is relevant. Next thing you know, they're ranking well. And then of course, sales are a function of visibility. So do with that what you will. Uh, Pink Summer Carnival. So again, another artist. Eras tour, so another Taylor Swift, Mickey Mouse, Disney, <laughs> Halloween, okay, a lot to teach at the moment, and of course, it is a uh, Taylor Swift reference, they even jammed the word Swift into the title, even though it didn't really make contextual sense, Disneyland family shirts, Disney cruise shirts, Barbenheimer, so it's just everything Etsy, man, it's just like some some level of infringement, more pink shirts, Jonas Brother, Mickey Mouse, all right, I'm done, I'm done, let's go, let's at least move on to sweatshirts here before we wrap the video, maybe sweatshirts are not being uh, as infringed or infringed on as much, top one, 495 sales in the last seven days, it is a personalized bride sweatshirt, so personalized gift for bride as the primary keywords, I think we saw that in a video recently, floral letter embroidered hoodie interesting let's check that out floral letter embroidered hoodie so i am not like embroidering anything myself and i don't know anybody that can do embroidery to that level of detail like i'm pretty sure if you sent that into like printful for embroidery uh their digitizers their designers that digitize our designs would come back and say uh we can't do this (laughs) to the detail is too fine right i I don't know that to be true right i'm just a talking head on youtube but i'm pretty sure because i've sold 10,000 plus embroidery products. I'm telling you, uh, I have seen my issues. Trust me, I've run into plenty. Most of which are my fault, right? Uh, The embroidered ghost dogs, we saw that. Bride sweatshirts, couple sweatshirts. Those seem to be really popular. Embroidered goose design. Uh, The Bat Boys sweatshirt. I think we also took a peek at this in a previous video, but also take note. I mean, I would assume the bat concept, unless this is just an evergreen Uh, It is a little bit gothic and whatnot. Um, Could also be related to just Halloween, maybe seeing an increase in demand. Embossed honeymoon sets, Miss and Misses. So they're selling the shirt and it looks like the joggers together. I love that idea. Guessing their average order value includes multiple products and a nice high price point. Custom embroidered Miss and, okay, that's just Misses, future Misses. 
custom embroidered, varsity crew neck, personalized. So a lot of personalization taking place at the high end of the sweatshirts. And just to show you sweatshirt 2023, let's take a peek and see if we can get some specific niches. We have the Eras Tour, Taylor Swift, Jonas Brothers, Jonas Brothers, SZA shirt, um, may or may not. It says Kill Bill. So is that a reference to a movie? Is that an artist? I don't know. Released December 9, 2022. Certainly looking like an album. Senior 2022 class sweatshirt. Okay, boom. Something that we can actually sell. Thank you. Thank you, somebody, for doing this. So it says senior 2021, and I guess that would make you the class of 2022. And do they offer personalization? Why Why are people buying this? It's interesting. Um, so make the 2024 version of that. Say senior 2023, market it as class of 2024. All of these you want to cast a wide net of relevant phrases that people would actually type into Etsy so that they would click your product and actually purchase it, right? We don't want to cast a wide net of irrelevant phrases. So take that um, and do with it what you will. What else? Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. So we have that. And then I think I see one down here. It looks like a Halloween themed, skeleton themed hoodie. So here we have the hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Yes, a Taylor Swift reference. I wouldn't be selling it, but again, you know, it's, it's something that isn't just a blatant like copy paste of, of an album cover or something like that. Uh, and then where's the, where's this one? This is what I was looking for right here. The skeleton maternity sweatshirt. Uh, and that's a nice little Halloween themed pregnancy announcement, maternity announcement sweatshirt. And we know those do well on Etsy. Again, keep the list price low, even if you end up charging more when they check out and stick to the themes that do well on Etsy. We know this is one of them. All right, guys, so hopefully you found that video helpful. I can do a more curated version of it so we can skip past all of the intellectual property infringement if you guys prefer. I am just kind of testing it out as we go, doing it a little bit off the cuff. This is honestly how it would be if I was doing it on my own time, except I'd probably move a little bit faster because I don't have to narrate these things, narrate what we're seeing. I do think it pays on Etsy to target the high-end bestsellers, right? The ones that you're really swinging for the fences, but then also enable Etsy ads so that you get that boost of visibility and play the game, low list price, great first thumbnail, design needs to be good, all the things we already know. And if you rank on any of these big swings, you can make quite a bit of money as I just showed you. I mean, damn, there was a digital download product doing $150 a day in profit. So there's money to be made still on Etsy, uh, but you got to play the game, right? That's one takeaway. That's one thing that we saw, regardless of it was a bestseller that was something in a niche that we could sell, or if it was just infringing, they all had, you know, checked every box in terms of like what the top Etsy sellers do in order to generate interest and uh, really become mainstays in highly competitive niches. The high competitive aspect often is a function of high demand, right? Because that's where the money is. So that's really my two cents on this. In terms of takeaways, we didn't get too many other than that, hey, Etsy continues to be a place where a lot of intellectual property infringement takes place. But I'm gonna shut up about that because we already knew that. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please hit that like button, subscribe. I'll drop a link to Etsy Hunt in case you wanna check it out. I think to upgrade your account, it's like four bucks a month, so it's pretty cheap. But there's also a free version so you can basically do your own product research and do a better job than I did. I kept it pretty broad. Maybe in the future, we bring some niche ideas and then filter down in them live on the video. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.